Hey, good morning. It's Friday. It's January 22nd. Thanks so much for being here today. I'm going to break with uh, my morning tradition a bit and use music this morning because we're looking at Psalm 33 and Psalm 33 commands us to be about music. And we so often miss commands that aren't in the heavy thou shalt or thou shalt not type of motif, but the commands of God are also very gentle, but they're no less persuasive and powerful. Psalm 33 is a psalm that I believe you will find somewhat surprising in its intent. It's not a song of patriotism, but rather it's a song for the people of God. First three verses focus on the value of praise. Shout for joy. In Yahweh, you righteous ones, shout for joy in Yahweh, in the person of the covenant God. Praise is a beautiful thing for the upright. If we want to be beautiful, praise makes us beautiful in the right sense. Give thanks to Yahweh with the lyre. On the ten-stringed harp, play to him. These are directives for music, for worship for praise. Sing to him a new song. Play with skill, with shouting. Again, I'm using Dale Rudolph Davis's uh, translation. Davis, as you know by now, is someone I have immense respect for as someone who handles the word of God with the way that, that he says praise ought to be about. He says so, music, the music of praise needs to be in our hearts. It needs to be ringing in our ears. And this praise of God needs to be done with freshness. Three things, done with freshness, done with skill, done with passion. And our hearts need to be devoted to that type of thing so that we are engaged in praise. Shout for joy in Yahweh, in the presence of God, because of what Christ has done for you. Again, Yahweh is the covenant name for God. It's personal. It represents Jesus. He is the one who gave his life for us. We can shout for joy. We can give thanks with the musical instruments. We can sing to him a new song. We can play with skillfulness while we are enthusiastic enthusiastic with passion. The music you're listening to right now is by Sharon Gerber, and it's from her album, End of the Night. And the title of this song is Your Love is More. That fits this qualifications of fresh, with skill, with passion. You can think of people like Andrew Peterson, who also fit the same dynamic. I think there are people that you probably know. But the point is that this music, this theme, this praise needs to be so dominant in our lives that it ushers forth. It's got to be within us so that it bursts forth. So Paul isn't just talking about some nice phrase in Colossians, but he says, you know, give thanks to God in everything you do in his name, making music in your hearts to God. This is not some random wall saying or something just that says, well, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. If we want to be upright in this world and secure, the praise of God needs to be on our hearts, in our hearts, on our, in our ears, so it's on our mouth. Coming forth, we need to look for these qualities of freshness, of skill and passion. Check out Sharon's music, check out Peterson's music. This is the stuff that centers your life, not the garbage around us, but the beauty of God. Shout for joy in Yahweh. And let that be your thought this day. You have a great day, bye-bye.